So it's happening. Van life is happening. Put the deposit down on a Grand Canyon Heimer camper van thing. Now, for you guys who know uh, a little bit about campers, you'll know that that is not a complete self-build camper van. We're not buying a shell, and we're we're making our own. We're buying one that's pretty much completely ready to go, just without everything that we need in it. So, in this video, I'm going to tell you why we're thinking about van life, why we're doing van life. Uh, what camper we're going to be getting and then what we're doing to it. So to start off really, I guess why um, so we, we we bought this apartment a couple of years ago and It's been nothing but a pain in the ass to be honest We thought oh, we'll get a new build. It'd be nice. It'll be It'll be great. It'll be happy days, but it has been anything but we have had a, a shitty time to be honest the apartment itself is not so bad and and the location's pretty good and the people are quite nice, but everything else is shit. Um, when I say the apartment itself not so bad, it's just it's, it's okay when you look. But when you start to look into the details, it's just a it's a it's a mess. We've had a big flood. Um, the the rising costs just ridiculous. We've gone from like seven hundred pound a year ground rent to now nearly three thousand, and it's just we just it's kind of getting to a point where it's unaffordable. Now, I know that van life isn't necessarily uh, a cheaper alternative to living, but it can be, depending on how you live, I guess. <laughs> so that's one of the big reasons, not to mention the fact that we absolutely love traveling. So we want to we want to get out, we want to travel more, want to see more of the world. And at the moment, I have a motorbike. And it's a bit of a pain for me and the girls to, to kind of get out and about. Again, it costs money. We've got to rent a car. We've got to take public transport. And it becomes quite expensive. So one of the reasons, yeah, traveling doing what we want to do, making our own content, and uh, yeah, working working on the go, really. Okay, so the camper we're getting, I just mentioned a second ago, is called a Heimer Grand Canyon. Now, I have, I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours at this point looking at different campers, whether to try and build our own, whether to buy like a second-hand one, whether to buy... Um, this make, that make, this make, this brand, that brand. I've gone through everything and anything I could find. And we ended up looking um, at a few local uh, campervan sale places, uh, motorhome places, they sell caravans, they sell everything. And we ended up finding a place called Camper Sales and they were, and they have been really accommodating compared to everywhere else that we found. And what they what they're selling is they sell Westphalia, Heimer, um, and another brand. But anyway, we ended up going with Heimer. The Heimer website is 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 ace. It has a lot of a lot more features to do with kind of off grid type living more than the others. So one great thing about Heimer and the, one of the one of the biggest features that I liked about them was they have this um, addition to the cameras called the Heimer Heimer Smart Battery Pack, and it could just be. Uh, some marketing fluff, <laughs> to be honest. But I've done a little bit of research, and no other no other brand allows you to add this on as kind of a standard to your camper. But it's essentially a, a lithium batteries mixed with AGM batteries, and it should take the juice from the lithium first, and then have the AGM as backup. And because I want to be gaming and editing and working from the van, I wanted a lot of power. So this made sense. So I've just got my my list up. So the stuff the stuff that comes the stuff that we've decided to come with, which is these are kind of all these extra add-ons that Heimer offer. Um, some of them cost a little bit more money than others, but it just a lot of it made sense for what we wanted to do. So the pop-top roof, what you would normally see on you know like your VW campers down the beach and stuff, you've got a, you've got a pop-top roof on on a Fiat Ducato base, which is cool. So you've got a, an extra bed in the roof. It's got the you know, an upgraded, upgraded diesel warm heating. Um, it's got the roof heating. Yeah, the Heimer, Heimer Smart Battery System, which we spoke about. 
it's got the security alarms in it, it's got the Wi-Fi, um, the Wi-Fi aerials on it. Some of the extra bits which I thought were pretty cool, maybe it's standard across brands, but um, Hyma made it really easy to get hold of. So the larger fuel tank, which is good because we're using the diesel for the heater. A larger wastewater tank, which would be insulated and heated. I want to go up to Scotland, I want to go to the Alps, I want to do some skiing and stuff. So it was important that that didn't kind of freeze up. Um, I made sure that that was heated. Just And then some other, some other sort of standard stuff, which uh, is not too exciting to be honest. But yeah, that was uh, that was why we kind of chose Heimer, um, and also the the actual van itself. Uh, in the inside works quite well, and uh, I guess kind of the, the last reason why we chose chose Heimer, um, off the back of the brand being quite nice and been around fucking years, camper sales obviously sold them, and camper sales were uh, Rob was just a legend to me to be honest. The stuff I was asking, what we can do once we get it. And what we're going to be doing once we get it has been very accommodating to be honest. I think most people uh, will, will rock up to his place, see what they like, give him the money and walk away. You know, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, financing a bit of it, putting a bit of money down on the other, you know, the other half and then converting half of it from this beautiful camper that we're, we're getting to making it into a gaming rig. <laughs> so the plan is um, the back of the camper van essentially will open up, you know, the doors will open up. That's where the, the back bed goes, but half, you know, in the, in the daytime, the bed will, will go up one side. And what I'd like to do is when the bed goes up, a desk pops up as well, or we can have a pop-up desk. Um, to the side, you'll see that there is a, an empty wall. You can have a window put in there, but we don't want that. We're going to put a nice big widescreen gaming monitor on there, which when the bed goes up and the, and the desk comes up, we can bring the monitor over and that can essentially be my desk, which will allow the rest of the camper van, the kitchen, the toilet, you know, the, the desk in the daytime, the front, all that stuff. If it's raining outside, you know, Zara has a place to work, Mitch has a place to work and there's just space for all of us. Um, it's still going to be small <laughs> compared to an apartment, but there's space, you know, and it, it should work. So that's kind of the plan. Um, not sure exactly whether I'll be running a gaming laptop or like a mini mini PC. I'd like and would prefer to have a mini PC. I just need to figure out where it will go. There's a bit on the left of the camper which pops up. I just need to do a bit more research. Maybe head down to, to camper sales as well. I have a proper dig around and see what I can find in there. Um, but that's kind of the plan really. Um, buy the camper, kind of standard upgrade it for as much power as we can, get as much solar panels on the roof, um, have as much battery, battery, you know, watt hours stored as much as possible. And uh, yeah, stick a, stick a full size gaming PC in there if possible. If not, then we go back down to sort of a, a laptop. But the idea is to continue streaming, continue doing YouTube, continue doing any film jobs that we get that take us there. Missy can keep doing her modeling bits as well. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the plan. And finally, I, I, I guess like, why are we doing it? I, I, I briefly mentioned it at the start, but at the end of the day, like uh, we want, I want to get out more. We want to get out. More. We want to, we want to travel more. We want to go and see. I don't know. I want to go and spend a week in the mountains or a week down the beach. <laughs> I want to get up in the morning and be on the beach. Um, I've been very lucky with my filming. I've got to travel a lot, and being stuck in the UK, especially over COVID, has been shit it's actually been shit so yeah the, the plan is to get out more and take everything that we love doing on the road and see places and people and see things um there is a big part of me that wants to ship the van over to america do alaska do canada see as much of america as we can but also obviously mitzi's from the philippines drive east so from the uk you can drive all the way across well you know across as many countries as possible and then end up in the Philippines if you wanted to. So we document as much as as much as possible basically. So if you can and you want to want to join us, leave it leave a subscribe, leave a like, say hello, drop a comment. And uh, yeah, this is the start of the adventure. So hopefully see you guys on the next video.